so good morning to all of you uh, till now uh, what we have uh, learned is uh, testing of uh, combinational circuits and we also saw uh, testing of uh, sequential circuits so uh, today we'll uh, take up uh, how to go about testing of uh, memory right so uh, uh, memory uh, basically when we say uh, memory it is the uh, ram and the rom uh, how do we go about testing that right so there are uh, uh, many types of uh, 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 memories available uh, so the first one which we'll uh, deal is a uh, dynamic uh, <coughs> random access memory uh, in which uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, external uh, pcb which is uh, plugged in into the uh, motherboard right so uh, a, a portion of the program uh, uh, from your uh, main <coughs> uh, hard drive okay uh, will be brought into the uh, dram uh, where the cpu uh, 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 can continuously uh, uh, communicate right so that portion which is currently being run that portion of the program is uh, fetched and kept in the dram uh, because uh, accessing the main uh, hard disk uh, it will be very very uh, slow uh, whereas an uh, dram Okay, uh, this operates much faster and, and it can be uh, placed you know, on the same uh, motherboard and, and the CPU can uh, communicate you know, with this uh, me these memory cells at a very, very uh, fast rate, right? So, uh, there are two kinds, uh, there are uh, 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 dynamic RAM means the data is uh, stored on the uh, 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 floating capacitors, right? So, we learned in our VLSI class uh, how a uh, three tr transistor DRAM uh, looks like, right? So, uh, the advantage of DRAM is 3 transistor uh, as compared to SRAM is uh, a high uh, no, uh, density, right? We can uh, pack in in, a small, in the small chips in a high, a very high memory, right? So, uh, bits are uh, as, uh, stored as charge on a single capacitor, uh, but then you know, uh, this needs to be uh, refreshed, okay? So, uh, at every you know, 6 or uh, 4 or 6 milliseconds, so there some refresh signal has to come and the data which is returned, uh, in the memory uh, uh, will have to be refreshed otherwise the data will uh, because the capacitance uh, uh, the floating <coughs> capacitance can hold the charge only for around uh, say two to three uh, um, for around one mill uh, um, for a few milliseconds and hence uh, uh, we need to keep refreshing it uh, periodically right so uh, these days even uh, 32 gb rams are uh, available but if you want to go for uh, higher rams then uh, multiple of uh, these kind of rams can be plugged in onto the uh, motherboard right so uh, you will find there will be a small uh, controller there and 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 few uh, memory cells okay uh, so uh, uh, then uh, we have something known as these days known as something known as synchronous uh, dram or uh, or uh, uh, DDR RAM, uh, it's also known as double data rate uh, RAM. Uh, this is faster than the conventional uh, RAM uh, because what it does is uh, now when the read write operation is uh, uh, being done, um, uh, the uh, next address uh, is being decoded by the uh, by the controller. Okay, so it is like a pipelined uh, structure. So it is almost uh, twice the speed of that of a uh, conventional ROM. Read write operation is happening, but the next memory location you know, is being uh, decoded by the controller. Okay, so so that is also uh, happening. So uh, that is known as uh, DDR, uh, right? And then uh, we have something known as uh, static. An RAM. So, this we saw in our uh, advanced VLSI class, uh, in the VLSI uh, design class, that uh, static RAM uh, in which uh, there are uh, uh, two inverters which are uh, cross coupled uh, to form a latch. Okay. So, as long as the power supply is there, uh, uh, here also po power supply is uh, required, right? If, if the power supply goes off, then there is no uh, information which gets stored uh, here. The same happens with SRAM also. And, and the moment the power supply, as long as the power supply is there, uh, the bits you know, uh, will be uh, stored. Okay. Uh, the uh, difference with regards to dynamic RAM uh, is that uh, uh, there is no refreshment uh, 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 requirement of refreshing the data. Okay. Uh, so it will uh, once it is latched, the data will be there, and the output uh, nodes uh, is either connected to VDD or ground. Uh, no charge is uh, held on floating node type. Right, so so that is not there here. Okay, so uh, that is here. Then uh, what we have an uh, cache memory, 
uh, this is like like the cpu most of this is the you know, entire uh, thing comes as a single uh, cpu so you have an uh, cache memory which is an uh, embedded in this the same uh, 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 overall uh, cpu block itself okay so this is the processor and, and there is the cache memory so the cache memory is uh, like now no this is you you have a right uh, you have a uh, main memory right and uh, uh, this could be uh, the uh, uh, hardware uh, it is known as the secondary memory okay, not the memory. Uh, it is it is the uh, 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 hard disk what you have right uh, from there uh, some data will be uh, brought and uh, put into the uh, ddr ram right so uh, this will be uh, faster than this uh, and again some data from uh, here also will be available uh, here okay this is very very frequently ac uh, accessed data so it will be uh, available here so so this communication uh, happens at, at at very fast rate now this is uh, no, slightly slower than this and and this from here to here it is it is pretty slow so that's how the so this is all uh, this data here here is uh, dynamically changed okay uh, depending on uh, what the cpu is doing at that particular uh, instance okay so it will uh, keep uh, uh, that portion of the uh, data which is required from the hard disk that eventually uh, comes from here to here and it is available here for easy access okay so uh, now there is no fixed data here okay that all depends on what is the uh, task which has been which has been assigned to the uh, cpu okay so uh, these are the uh, memories uh, now uh, also you have uh, roms right so uh, when you uh, power on the uh, cpu so the cpu has to do some you know, uh, built in checks and some you know, biasing you know, uh, program so that uh, needs to be there you know, uh, uh, you, you know, that, so that information that that once you power on the microprocessor has to start and it will start executing from say memory 00, zero. so so, so uh, that information uh, of how to start up uh, is uh, generally available in a rom okay and that remains there uh, even if the power supply is not there and and similarly uh, certain uh, things like you know, what happens if if there is an uh, 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 excessive uh, temperature is uh, detected okay so so many uh, subroutines right uh, so what happens if a divide by zero is encountered so those are all uh, so some error message uh, should uh, flash uh, so those kind of uh, programs uh, which is uh, not uh, which is <coughs> made by the uh, no, manufacturer himself and and not required to be changed by the uh, user okay that is specific to the uh, hardware so that will be pre-programmed into a rom and and the cpu can just uh, read from here no data can be written in this so you will have some uh, no, uh, roms also out here so these are the uh, kind of uh, memories and we will see you know, how to uh, no, do the testing uh, but um, before that let's uh, just have an uh, look at the memory uh, organization so now uh, you have an address and then you will have an uh, address latch okay and now what is the uh, requirement of uh, address uh, latch is uh, li like uh, from the uh, cpu uh, there could be some say say some 20 pins or something okay the same uh, pins uh, will be used okay uh, for uh, uh, giving the address as well as the data okay so uh, when it is uh, placing uh, this address out here okay uh, it might give a signal okay uh, right it, it is an uh, address signal okay so uh, that signal uh, will come here and it will uh, latch this data this address and and once this address is uh, latched okay then uh, there won't be a, uh, these signals you know, will depend on processor to processor okay what kind of signal is there okay uh, this uh, uh, there may not be a signal like an address uh, or no data okay it, it is not like that it could be a, a read write signal and things like that based on that we can uh, decode whether it is an address line or an and uh, it, whether it is that uh, this information is address or data okay uh, so uh, uh, memory io output so all those there will be say, other pins also if you see the 8086 architecture okay uh, so there will be a few uh, 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 yeah there is one uh, address latch enable uh, signal okay once the address is placed okay it will give an uh, address latch enable signal so that will uh, latch this address so that uh, address is latched out here so once it is latched here then the same uh, lines will be uh, used you know, for read write operations also so that that's why uh, so once the address is there again uh, we saw the memory organization in our 
um, VLSI class where the memory is organized into uh, columns and uh, rows. Okay, so uh, that is uh, done here. Uh, and then uh, when you are uh, reading the memory, again uh, we saw in our memory design class in VLSI, we require a uh, sense amplifier. Right? From the sense amplifier, uh, you have a data register and data out. Again, uh, data in, data register, uh, you, you might require a uh, write driver and then you know, it, it goes to the memory cell. So, so this is how you, know, uh, you place an address. Uh, so, this address um, would be same for a read and write you know, uh, operations. Right. So, uh, along with that, uh, some uh, uh, signals like uh, uh, whether it is read, okay, once you place the address also, uh, uh, you need to give a command whether it is a read operation or the write operation uh, to this chip, okay, um, because uh, once the address is selected in the same address, data can be written or it can be retrieved or uh, read from that. So, that is there. Uh, and then uh, you could have a uh, refresh also uh, there, there has to be a refresh logic so every you know, few milliseconds this signal will go high uh, and once it is uh, uh, going high uh, uh, the data is read from the sense amplifier and then the uh, from the uh, data register write uh, again it will be uh, rewritten so this uh, loop will be uh, executed so this address lines will uh, uh, keep changing so that all the memory uh, 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 is uh, refreshed so so this also uh, works right so now uh, if you have an uh, ddr ram uh, then uh, uh, this is uh, uh, for uh, but whereas uh, if it is an, uh, within the cpu if, uh, right it, if you have a pipeline structure and uh, which is an uh, operating at few gigahertz then uh, those uh, uh, rams could be uh, dynamic and then may not be a requirement of uh, refreshing it because they are all a uh, uh, pipeline structure in which uh, uh, within the CPU but but you have an uh, external DRAM then uh, it is not necessary that uh, that uh, memory is being accessed within few milliseconds sometimes it's possible that some other one, some other memory is being uh, accessed okay these uh, out of the total 16 GB few are not being accessed so so you might want to uh, refresh it so uh, this is uh, how a, a memory uh, is organized right within the memory chip so all these things will be there uh, in this chip address decoder and, and things like that right so uh, now uh, this uh, aspect the first uh, aspect and i'll probably uh, cover uh, towards the end uh, where uh, uh, I talked about some uh, fault tolerant designs. So uh, in in today's world, right, when you are making a say 16 uh, uh, GB uh, memory, say say uh, uh, one word is faulty, right? So I will not uh, uh, while testing it appears that one word is faulty. So I will not discard the entire chip, right? And and there could be more than one word, and uh, there could be some uh, uh, 10 or 100. And uh, words uh, which are faulty, right? But but uh, uh, but still, it is a uh, 16 GB memory, right? So even for 100, I may not want to discard this. And uh, and there could be uh, uh, a high number of uh, uh, faulty words because uh, we are uh, working at a low technology node and we are doing such uh, uh, high density uh, packing. So uh, the uh, probability of uh, fault. Uh, now getting induced during fabrication is very very uh, high right so uh, there could be uh, even up to 100 and uh, faults one and 16 gb memory i'm just giving some example okay uh, uh, this uh, figures uh, don't matter it, just the concept so there could be say uh, uh, 100 faults also in a 16 gb memory once it is uh, fabricated and uh, if i uh, try to uh, discard uh, if for uh, a single false, then my uh, yield will go very very low, and and the cost of these will uh, shoot up, right? If you are going to discard these chips for uh, fault, so uh, generally uh, you will have some fault tolerant design. Uh, there would be a provision uh, through certain and uh, a max, and uh, first you do an uh, testing, and and through some uh, multiplexers, uh, those uh, faulty. Uh, words will be uh, eliminated uh, and there will be some uh, 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 spare uh, words uh, which will be uh, fabricated who are uh, initially uh, they are not uh, addressed uh, but wherever uh, you find some uh, faults uh, so that that particular from uh, uh, from the decoder uh, 
okay it will be uh, rooted to there okay so there is a fault here so uh, that particular word line so so uh, so there will be some multiplexer circuit uh, and and that particular word no, entire word will be replaced by another uh, word out here okay so so this is known as a uh, fault altered uh, design so so this particular design uh, we may not uh, cover uh, today but uh, towards the end of the class along with uh, 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 not only for the memory i'll try to uh, plug in uh, one uh, this thing on on combinational circuits also uh, how to go about uh, no, how to have a fault tolerant design okay so uh, is this uh, thing uh, okay till here yeah uh, jaisi yes sir okay. so uh, now the uh, faults in a uh, memory uh, could be uh, static in nature okay uh, that is uh, in a cell there is some static uh, uh, or in a decoder okay uh, static means uh, like, like a cell is stuck at 0 or it is stuck at 1 or a decoder is uh, like like uh, you have given in a uh, specific uh, uh, what is the requirement of decoder we understand right suppose uh, uh, the address lines from the cpu could be only uh, 20 lines right so uh, 2 to the power of na uh, 20 uh, is is a uh, 1 mega so there will be a uh, 1 mega memory chips right so uh, but i can't have 1 mega lines running between the memory and the cpu so so from the cpu right and, uh, if i require 1 mega bit of memory uh, memory i will just send in uh, uh, 20 lines of address lines will be required and then i will use an a uh, decoder within the memory and and this will generate in uh, a 1 mega uh, lines signals okay uh, to select an uh, uh, one of the uh, words right so so uh, 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 here right so this is this will be 2 uh, uh, to the power of n a uh, decoder right uh, n inputs and 2 to the power of n outputs so there will be a uh, decoder within the memory so that prevents uh, those many lines uh, requirement between the cpu right otherwise those many pins will be required here so it is just impossible to do that right so so that is the requirement so you there is a requirement of decoder so there will be some you know, uh, static you know, uh, functionality issues with the decoder also that could be there within the cell also there could be some uh, static uh, issues right and then uh, uh, there could be some uh, dynamic faults uh, dynamic faults is uh, uh, right time okay uh, when i say static types uh, static faults it could also mean that i want to write a zero into a cell but it is stuck at one if i want to write a one it is stuck at zero so uh, when i want to read something from a cell i am continuously getting zero so all those things can happen uh, a dynamic fault is a uh, right type right right once i place the address uh, and if i uh, initiate the right uh, 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 cycle then uh, the uh, data should be uh, returned in the memory within a specified time okay which is known as right time uh, right time is uh, from the time the right signal goes high okay uh, first you place the address okay first is that so and then you need to uh, give a settling time for the uh, decoder you know to come out with the correct address right so so uh, how the thing works is first you place the address then you wait for some time for the address to be available and the particular cell to be selected and then you give the read or the write signal okay Uh, read signal or the write signal and then uh, you have to wait uh, no for the uh, for the read signal you have to wait till the uh, data is available through the sense amplifier on the data bus or for a write operation you will have to wait for the data to get uh, settled in the memory uh, through the write buffer okay so 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 those things uh, this is known as access time is read time a uh, write time and then uh, data retention like for ddr ram uh, once you have a uh, return uh, data okay it is supposed to uh, hold uh, for a few milliseconds and those those specifications as per design so whether it is able to uh, retain that data right if it is going to and uh, if that data is getting corrupted and uh, and the capacitor is getting discharged uh no uh, well before that then uh, we could uh, end up in a situation where we have loss of data so all those checks uh, needs to be uh, done so uh, there are uh, like we saw for uh, uh, the combinational circuits and uh, stuck at faults bridging faults and things like that uh, similar faults are there in memory also there could be a uh, stuck at faults uh, there could be a uh, transition faults and uh, there could be uh, coupling faults okay so so these are uh, because the cells are so uh, closely placed to each other okay so these are the uh, kind of things which will uh, have additional things which can happen in a memory that uh, something happening in the nearby cell 
uh, affects the data in this cell. Okay, and because they are so uh, closely placed, so uh, uh, right, the cells are densely uh, packed. So there could be a, 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 a small uh, interconnection, or uh, because of the uh, capacitance uh, between these two cells, uh, and they are uh, so closely placed that uh, uh, some transition here can affect the data at the nearby cell. So these are the two additional things which uh, you could uh, see in. Uh, apart from the normal uh, faults which happens in a combinational circuit, these are the additional kind of faults which can happen out here. And al also since there is an uh, uh, address decoder, there could be faults in the <coughs> uh, address uh, decoder also. Right. So, uh, the first uh, uh, model uh, would be a uh, stuck at fault. So, uh, this is uh, like, like if the memory cell is 0, uh, if I am writing a 0, it remains in 0. If I write a 1, it will go to a state 1. And if I write a 1, uh, it has to remain in 1. And if I write a 0, it has to uh, come back to 0. So, so this is how an, a good cell uh, should work. Uh, but a uh, stuck at zero uh, cell, uh, if you, if I, you know, it, it remains in zero. If I write a zero, uh, it would continue to remain in zero. And if I write a one, uh, again it continues to remain in zero. Uh, same could happen at uh, stuck at one fault. Uh, so this is you know, a stuck at one fault is an, uh, if you write a one, it is one. If you write a zero, it uh, writes, right? And there is something known as additional, which is known as a transition uh, fault. Okay. Now, uh, suppose initially when you are uh, powering on the uh, system, right? Uh, it is initially right. It can go to zero or one randomly. It can go to any value. So it has gone to one out here. So as long as you keep writing one and you read one, there is no issue. But the moment you write to zero, it will go to zero and it is not coming back to one. Okay. So this is known as a transition fault. Okay. So. Uh, so this this is the notation. Now uh, in this chapter you have to be uh, understand you know, how these notations are, uh, are there. Okay. So as we move progress, we'll uh, use these notations you know, ex extensively. So uh, this positive uh, uh, means when the data is going from when there is an uh, 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 <coughs> transition from uh, when there is an uh, transition. Okay. The output uh, from from zero to one. If there is okay, this arrow up indicates there is a transition from zero to one, and and stroke zero means the output there is a fault that it is getting stuck at zero. Okay, so uh, uh, this is how it is uh, written. Okay, what does this this uh, symbol indicate? If whenever there is a positive transition, okay, the output will is stuck at zero. Okay, uh, uh, so this is the way this fault is uh, denoted. Okay, so so this is one fault. Uh, you could have uh, right uh, uh, the other fault also when, when uh, like like here, uh, where where there is a transition from one to zero, but the output continues to remain in one. Okay, if that is the case, then uh, this is uh, written like this. Okay, that is during down transition fault. It is known as the down transition fault. Uh, this is known as the up transition uh, fault. Okay, so now uh, we talked about transition faults and we talked about uh, stuck at faults and then uh, uh, so uh, is this uh, two faults clear to all of you okay shall i move forward yes sir okay so uh, now uh, now all these are uh, uh, how these uh, uh, memory uh, is tested right uh, unlike an uh, combinational uh, circuit okay uh, i have this uh, memory cell okay so if i have this a uh, memory uh, so uh, th there are several uh, addresses right so uh, uh, how mem memory testing is done is uh, it is not you know, conventional stuck at fault at each uh, uh, place we try to give the corresponding vector uh, it's not done like that okay a simple way of you know, uh, doing it is okay uh, first you select the address mem zero okay you set a, a zero uh, write zero okay uh, then you go to the next memory, write zero. Next, you go to the next memory, write zero. You will go to the next memory, write zero. Okay, you do you do the complete cycle. And from bottom again, uh, you read zero. Okay, now you read zero. Then uh, 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 after reading zero, okay, you write one. After reading zero, write one. You go back again uh, to the top. Okay, so now you have read all the zeros. Then again from the top, you come back uh, uh, reading once. Okay, so that's how memory testing is done. 
okay so uh, it is not like you know you you play some test vectors and and you try to find out what is the fault where uh, no that is not required in memory i am uh, bothered about whether that entire that particular uh, cell is working fine or not okay so i am going to uh, select one of the address lines okay uh, uh, read some data change the data read the other data right so uh, so that's how the memory testing will be done so the way these different data are uh, address lines are moved and the various data are written uh, they are known as uh, marching okay there are several schemes each scheme will have uh, its own advantage okay and 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 hence you know, we uh, just try to understand you know, the notation first okay so uh, r means you know, uh, uh, memory read operation uh, w means a uh, write operation into the memory uh, r0 means a uh, reading is zero from the memory location uh, r1 means a uh, reading one from the memory location w0 and w1 again indicates writing a zero uh, or it writing a one from the memory location okay and and this up arrow means um, write a one to a cell containing zero okay that means uh, no, you, you, you it this is a write operation right so it's all the cell is in uh, zero initially now i have to toggle that to one okay so uh, top to bottom means it, it can uh, no, have an uh, it's already uh, in one so i am now uh, no, writing a zero into that cell okay so this is the annotation for that uh, this means uh, the uh, cell is to be uh, uh, comp the data of the cell, cell uh, uh, is being complemented right if it's a zero it is being uh, so inverted okay or complemented so if it's a zero i am going to uh, write a one if it is one uh, i am going to write a, uh, <coughs> a zero so that is it okay uh, so uh, this double arrow uh, up means increasing memory uh, uh, this is decreasing uh, memory and and both side it means uh, you can choose whatever uh, you like okay so so um, the the uh, different march test are there so the test does not uh, uh, ask you to uh, start either from zero or one uh, but this uh, means okay uh, okay uh, this means increasing memory order that means you start with zero and you go to the maximum memory while testing okay this means you start from the maximum memory and you go to the minimum okay uh, this doesn't mean you go randomly okay it only uh, says here also it will be sequentially going from zero to max or max but it does not say you start from zero or max okay from whichever direction you start that's all but then uh, once it starts it, it has to uh, follow uh, up either up direction or the uh, low direction okay uh, uh, this is like you know, a write a zero uh, which is already containing a zero so this means okay uh, say uh, no change in uh, no data okay that's all so uh, uh, here also <coughs> right uh, so we will see this value of x is already you know, containing x okay so this double arrow indicates okay uh, that uh, here when when i write this arrow uh, i generally write like this zero to zero okay or uh, one to one okay and 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 for uh, this uh, x so i am uh, it could be uh, x i don't write x uh, no uh, x single arrow so th that's just the notation which is written here okay now here so uh, so uh, we'll see this okay uh, denotes a memory uh, write operation so uh, now uh, what is to be uh, written in the memory right na uh, uh, whether na uh, <coughs> so this will be clear as we move forward right so sir, one, sir, uh, yeah tell uh, in last side hmm. when we are saying r0 r1 so is it like uh, we are reading and then we are expecting zero and zero is uh, we are we are able to read zero successfully or we are expecting zero no it is uh, i'll just uh, explain the next slide i think uh, it will be okay okay, okay uh, we are reading zero means we are uh, we have already uh, written a zero there and now uh, when we are reading zero we are expecting it to be a zero okay if it is a one then it should uh, give me a fault okay okay, okay. Uh, just one second okay okay actually unhone minors ha wo log minor lete computer science mein actually
Okay. अच्छा ओके हम आई जस्ट ना कंफर्म दिस थिंग ओके ओके आ हाँ ऐसा है ओके ठीक है मैं ओके ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है या या ठीक है ठीक है आई 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 राइट है ना आ आ आ आ आप मेरे को एक स्क्रीनशॉट भेज दोगे फॉर क्वेरी आप आप निकाल दो आप देते हैं हाँ हाँ ठीक है हाँ ओके ओके ठीक है ठीक हाँ ठीक है आप टाइम भी उनको स्क्रीन आउट कर दीजिए अगर कुछ होगा तो रिवर्ट बैक टीम ओके हाँ या वी आर वर्किंग टूडे सो इट वॉन्ट बी एन इश्यू अभी मेरा एक ऑनलाइन क्लास चल रहा है फ्री विद इन वन आवर आई गेट इन टच विद दिस सेक्शन एंड एंड आई रिवर्ट बैक टीम ओके 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 थैंक्स Yeah, uh, that was an uh, actually an uh, uh, important call uh, from the uh, Google chat. Like like uh, we instructors at an will are also responsible to uh, give some uh, right uh, practice school uh, uh, for the uh, B Tech students. Right in the final year, they go to the industry and they work for six months and uh, they uh, <coughs> they pay some stipend. So that becomes part of the curriculum. That's known as a practice school. Uh, and as instructors in, in wilp uh, that's uh, our responsibility uh, to get some uh, seats for the on campus students uh, so uh, any of you and uh, if you have some uh, option at your workplace where uh, uh, students from uh, pits can uh, come and do some uh, internship uh, uh, please uh, uh, let me know okay so uh, okay uh, shall we uh, continue is the doubt cleared out here Uh, 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 we have this. Uh, this is uh, one of the algo, right? Uh, March tests. Okay, there there are several March tests. Okay, so uh, if you see here, the reference is uh, given below. Okay, so this is uh, uh, Mats. Uh, the, these guys have uh, uh, recommended this particular test. As we we as we move forward, we'll see there are different patterns. Okay, uh, here there are uh, three distinctive uh, uh, Mats. Okay, one, two, three. okay uh, within each march there are uh, two different operations but uh, totally there are uh, uh, three different and uh, 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 march okay so in the in the march uh, m0 okay uh, we uh, this means you can either select from the uh, lowest memory uh, or uh, you could uh, select from the highest memory doesn't matter okay but you have to start from zero to go to the maximum memory or to start from the maximum memory and you come to the uh, zero memory okay so it says okay you uh, write an uh, zero to every cell okay so this is right uh, zero so the first operation is uh, writing uh, zero in all the cells okay once you have written then you start from the uh, lowest memory here okay and then you read a zero from that cell okay don't change the memory address now you you read and then you write a one so it it's right not that you again uh, read from uh, you write zero and then you start an a uh, 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 reading uh, 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 everything and uh, uh, you uh, 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 again you go back uh, to the memory zero uh, zero and start writing okay so uh, that will save time right so once an uh, a memory address is uh, selected you read a zero so that uh, stuck at a uh, one uh, fault will be detected then you write a one 
immediately and then you change the address then you go to the next cell so that way you you go from the bottom to the top and from the top again you start reading one now the stuck at zero faults will be uh, detected not only stuck at faults other faults also will be detected uh, 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 if there is a uh, uh, coupling fault and things like that right so when you start from the top okay so that table is also there uh, later on that uh, uh, for this particular uh, 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 March test. What are the tests uh, no, defects which will get detected? So then you uh, you again no, no, uh, revert back. Uh, you write a, a zero. Uh, so so this is there. So uh, why I am uh, writing an a zero uh, back uh, here is uh, right. If there is an, an, a memory, right? And, uh, I am uh, reading uh, here. Initially I have uh, put an, a zero. Uh, so I am uh, reading it. Okay. And then I'm uh, 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 no, uh, 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 reading one. I'm talking about this. There is a one here. There is a, a one here. I am, I am reading that one, right? I am uh, writing zero, and I am going back again uh, here, again reading one here, okay? And then writing a zero. So I am not reading this zero uh, again once again, right? Okay, then you might be wondering why I am putting zero. Why I am putting uh, zero out here is if writing zero here, uh, whether it is going to affect this cell or not. Okay, so that particular one more condition will be uh, checked here, right? Right? I am writing a zero here. So when I am writing a zero here, and I, I have not yet read the one in the next cell. So if my, you know, if there is a transition fault or if there is some you know, coupling fault, okay, that will get detected, right? Uh, is it understood this logic of writing uh, w0 here it's not you know you might be wondering why we are writing zero here and not reading it subsequently yeah is it okay it is uh, this is not a full exhaustive check but it it does cover a lot of uh, uh, faults okay uh, jay saying is it okay till here uh, yes sir the second column also it's same now writing uh, zero and reading one same that is yes middle are, one yeah, yes one. you are you you are reading zero first and then writing that is from one, down one, and that is from top yes that yes is. yeah here also when i am uh, reading zero right so this serves two purpose okay uh, first is uh, my address line need not be changed okay uh, so, uh, because the same address line, I am doing two operations. So, because address decoding also takes time. Uh, also, say at, at memory location 1, I am reading 0. Uh, and uh, memory location 2 also has a 0. Then I am writing a 1 in memory location 1. And then I am going to memory location 2. So, if this writing of 1 uh, is going to change this data here, so that will be caught out here. Right, when I'm reading if there is a fault so that is the uh, kind of thing which is uh, done here so this is known as uh, mats uh, plus so this is one algorithm so there are uh, several uh, such an uh, march tests uh, so then uh, you could have a uh, coupling fault okay uh, what is coupling fault is coupling fault means a uh, transition in the memory bit j uh, causes an unwanted change in uh, memory bit i okay uh, uh, like an, uh, it could be an uh, uh, adjacent one of the adjacent uh, uh, bits uh, that is uh, a transition uh, up to 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 uh, can change the uh, data in the uh, subsequent in the uh, adjacent cell okay generally it happens in the you know, very nearby uh, cells okay uh, depending on the wiring uh, you know, so uh, the cells which are uh, closely uh, coupled to each other because of some uh, capacitive effects so that data can uh, change so there within uh, the coupling faults itself you know, can be uh, of you know, uh, several types uh, so uh, one of the uh, uh, thing is known as uh, inversion uh, coupling faults okay uh, inversion uh, coupling uh, fault means whenever there is a uh, transition in the cell the data in the adjacent cell and this is not of the same cell okay a transition a positive transition happening in one cell is inverting the data in the <coughs> cell with which it is coupled okay so this is uh, one fault and this is the second coupling fault uh, where and 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 change uh, a, a down transition uh, in 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 this cell okay in in cell say i uh, is making an inversion in the cell j so these two type of an uh, 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 coupling faults uh, are generally encountered okay uh, is it okay this this notation again is it clear yes sir okay so uh, it, it, this generally uh, doesn't happen okay 
uh, any transition uh, will do uh, an, an inversion out here so it is uh, either a positive transition here or a negative transition here uh, will uh, no, flip the uh, no, data at the uh, output okay so uh, in the in the adjacent cell so these kind of things are uh, no, uh, is generally detected uh, for found in these uh, cells okay so uh, now uh, it says ki all uh, CFs uh, may not be uh, detected in the uh, in a conventional uh, march uh, test okay uh, like for example okay uh, there are uh, uh, three uh, cells okay so uh, you have uh, uh, made an uh, uh, transition here now uh, uh, this particular cell uh, may be getting affected because of this cell and also this cell also right so uh, because uh, uh, although in address bar it is appearing that uh, there is one cell in between but when it is uh, uh, fabricated that may not be the case right so when you are uh, fabricating uh, the cell right the memory cells so, okay uh, this could be uh, uh, one cell here okay uh, uh, one cell uh, very adjacent to here the other cell uh, here right depending on the how the address lines are distributed so uh, this could be coupled to here and here right so this particular cell uh, is coupled here and coupled here also so if you do a conventional march test okay uh, this is making a uh, one transition right so this data will get inverted again and uh, because you are march in the march test you are doing you are going sequentially right so again you are selecting making a transition out here again this will get reverted back to its original uh, state so you might uh, uh, miss out so in in conventional march test okay so so you this may go uh, undetected okay uh, unless there uh, it is detected uh, there are a uh, three uh, odd number of uh, uh, cells are there so uh, uh, it so there is somewhere it's written if it's odd uh, you can detect but that's the issue so uh, you might uh, uh, so so such for such faults and uh, uh, and simple march test uh, will not do so you will have you should have a uh, slightly uh, more uh, complex uh, march test okay we'll see those kind of tests also this simple uh, what we learned okay uh, this may not be able to catch that kind of faults okay uh, it says that okay uh, that is uh, inversion uh, coupling fault and uh, then uh, i could have uh, uh, something known as uh, idempotent uh, uh, coupling faults uh, in which uh, right uh, they a transition in 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 a neighboring cell right uh, can uh, uh, push this to uh, either one or zero okay so uh, with in in the in the earlier case we saw this data is getting flipped uh, here the data is not getting flipped okay so there could be uh, four different conditions now okay so uh, if this is going zero uh, uh, this this can be uh, going into zero or or if this is going zero uh, the other cell is going to one or if this is uh, going zero the other cell is going to one this also can happen if, if this is going on uh, a one uh, uh, no, uh, this is going to zero so these kind of things also can uh, happen right because you if you see the memory cell there are uh, two inverters uh, which are uh, cross linked right so uh, suppose uh, 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 here i have the bit line uh, and uh, when this bit line is uh, going high uh, suppose this is going to affect the uh, bit bar line out here okay there is some uh, coupling with the bit bar line of the next cell then uh, a one going here will put the bit bar one here and this could go to zero okay so it's not necessarily that uh, this goes down so this uh, has to be zero so uh, the other kind of coupling also can come the the there is a, a downward transition in one cell and, and the upward and the other cell na uh, gets uh, goes to one okay so that kind of thing also can uh, happen okay uh, and and uh, one more uh, kind of thing is an uh, 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 dynamic coupling okay uh, uh, here uh, it is uh, just an uh, in the uh, dynamic coupling in it it is it says key <coughs> occurs between different uh, words okay it is like uh, here we were talking about an uh, adjacent uh, uh, cells uh, uh, here uh, the only thing is uh, this is uh, a more uh, generalized uh, uh, form uh, where you know, it can uh, have with an uh, and, and slightly uh, far off cell also okay uh, it can have uh, cells of different words are getting affected so so uh, that that can also uh, happen 
right uh, in that case uh, 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 when we uh, keep increase and uh, doing the uh, memory when we are going from you uh, know one bit to other then uh, it may not you uh, know uh, uh, get detected at all because uh, this is you uh, 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 different location memories are getting you know, coupled so these kind of things also can happen uh, now uh, bridging faults bridging faults are very very uh, uh, similar to the uh, what we saw in the uh, 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 combinational circuits okay uh, two cells uh, are uh, 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 we have written a data 0 1 but because of the uh, bridging fault which exists and and the kind of uh, bridging faults right we saw the, there could be uh, two nodes and there could be an uh, uh, bridging uh, fault and and it, this bridge can be and or uh, right so those kind of things we saw so same thing can happen uh, here also if it is an uh, and bridge uh, then even if you have write, uh, write, uh, written 0 1 okay both the cells will have 0 0 if, even if you write 1 0 both the cells will have 0 0 only when you write 1 1 uh, both the cells will uh, have a uh, 1 1 right but uh, uh, this could be an or bridge also uh, if it has got fabricated that way uh, in that case uh, uh, even if you write an uh, uh, 0 1 both these things will go as 1 and if I write 1 0 also 1 1 so that depends on the uh, relative uh, uh, drive strengths of the memory cells and the way uh, this uh, uh, shorting is happening okay uh, whether it is bit line or bit bar line so it, it, it is an uh, if you have to you have to go uh, deep into uh, how uh, uh, the fault has happened and and and, and from where uh, 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 there is a shorting so that could uh, finally uh, result either in an and bridge uh, or in an, whether the bit line is getting affected or in an, uh, bit bar line is uh, getting affected so many uh, factors are there uh, which will finally uh, result in an uh, and bridge or an uh, or bridge right and uh, then uh, we have uh, something known as uh, state uh, uh, coupling uh, faults right so uh, if you uh, see here right uh, here it says uh, you know, what are the kind of uh, faults is uh, <coughs> uh, uh, here this is this is an uh, uh, which is an uh, uh, working very very uh, uh, fine okay but uh, in this particular case uh, when when i am writing an uh, 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 one out here from uh, 0 if I am trying to write a uh, 1 out here uh, this 0 is also getting changed okay so there now I am talking about an, uh, uh, two, two, two cells okay there are two cells out here so in one, uh, the, uh, in one cell I am going to write a uh, 1 out here so that is going to affect the state of this cell also so from here to here uh, instead of uh, 0 1 it, it should have ideally uh, gone to write uh, 0 1 here this uh, this right but uh, no, it is going here right both the cells are uh, getting uh, affected okay so these are known as the uh, state uh, coupling faults okay because the moment uh, this is going to uh, uh, this cell is is it is not because of transition it just says ki if, if this is one okay this cell is one this will also go to one okay so there is some kind of coupling there that's known as state coupling so i will uh, not uh, no, so the moment from here if i uh, uh, try to write a one out here uh, this also will go to the instead of coming here uh, it will uh, come here okay so this is another kind of a uh, fault uh, which can be uh, seen in the memories okay uh, then uh, we will just we'll take a break after we uh, try to understand the uh, fault models and then we will try to talk about testing okay so uh, now coming to uh, last two three uh, fault models uh, this is known as neighborhood uh, pattern sensitive okay uh, neighborhood pattern these are the cells okay so this is a uh, type 1 and type 2 neighborhood so uh, here all these four uh, corner cells okay these these four corner cells uh, any uh, transition in this uh, one in any of these transition okay uh, happening in uh, one of these cells will affect the uh, data in this cell okay uh, it could be a positive transition or it could be an, a negative transition okay so while testing uh, you have to do uh, right you have to put some pattern here say for uh, 0 0 0 I'll make a po positive transition here and negative transition and I'll put a 0 also here first I'll make a positive transition here I'll make a negative transition here and see whether it is 0 only whether it is making any change or not then I'll put a 1 here instead of 0 I'll put a 1 here 
right these are zero 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 then i will make a positive transition here negative transition here so now on a four test runs have already been done right after that i'll put a one here right again and i'll put a i'll put back a zero here then i'll do this positive transition negative transition then i will put a one here again i will do this so you see there will be uh, two uh, this is actually done also right it is very very important because we are packing so many you know, cells uh, in, a, in, a, in a small uh, area so all these couplings can happen so uh, all those things will be uh, done okay so we'll uh, study that pattern also when we are talking about testing as of now we are, we are just defining what are the kind of faults which can happen so this is uh, one uh, this is a, a type 2 neighborhood definition where uh, uh, this cell uh, might get affected from uh, all from all the even from the corners okay so uh, this is known as the type 2 definition of the neighbor right so uh, there could be uh, uh, two types uh, one is an uh, active uh, neighborhood fault and and there could be some a uh, passive okay uh, in the passive thing uh, we say ki, uh, uh, if a certain neighborhood and uh, uh, pattern is there okay in the neighborhood some uh, uh, data is there then this uh, particular cell uh, 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 will uh, become static that means uh, you can't do a read write operation okay it will uh, prevent uh, it will just lock that data in that that's known as uh, passive uh, whereas in uh, active means okay uh, because in uh, one any transit that is what we uh, discussed here this kind of faults okay where any transition here is going to uh, change the data in this particular cell okay so that that is known as active so uh, this is uh, very very uh, 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 <coughs> Yeah, very much an, uh, prevalent in, in after fabrication so we will do an exhaustive uh, check whether uh, uh, to see to it that this kind of thing is not there uh, and then uh, there could be an uh, address uh, decoder uh, false also right so there is a address uh, decoder so uh, so now there are there are uh, four types of faults which can uh, happen one is uh, no cell is accessed so you are placing uh, some address and uh, uh, so uh, this 688 is from your textbook okay so if you go to that uh, reference uh, you will get that paper so uh, no uh, you have no cell is accessed you are placing some address but uh, no cell is being accessed okay and there there could be some cell you know, which is not accessed by any uh, address which is placed on the address bar and uh, there could be an, a particular address uh, and multiple cells are being you know, accessed that can happen or you could have an, an a particular cell which is being accessed by uh, multiple uh, address okay so all those things are there so so all of them uh, so you will have to if you have to detect uh, this particular uh, fault right then uh, you you need to have uh, a, a particular <coughs> a march waveform okay so so uh, this is uh, one of the uh, things where uh, you can detect an address fault uh, so you start from the lowest memory uh, you write uh, uh, you read the data in that memory okay uh, so you don't have to initially start with writing some memory you can read uh, uh, whatever is the, the available in that particular memory okay you read that uh, and then uh, you write an uh, invert uh, you invert the uh, uh, data in that per particular memory so you go from uh, bottom to top and then uh, when top to bottom you are uh, coming back okay again uh, you read now the inverted data is available right so you will read that so uh, so when you are reading that you will obviously store it somewhere okay you are wanting to know what what was written right and then when you are coming back from uh, and then subsequently you have followed it up with an uh, inverting that data so when you are coming from top to bottom uh, again you will uh, keep uh, reading the data okay and and you keep uh, uh, writing the uh, 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 the x okay so again like i said in the previous case this has uh, 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 this also is required because when you are moving whether this operation uh, is affecting the uh, uh, data okay so uh, that is to be uh, uh, known so initially whatever is the contents of the memory uh, is uh, should be uh, known okay it is not uh, specific that you write zero or no but but that that what is there in the memory that should be known okay only then this uh, read so whatever data is there that should be known only then this this makes uh, sense right so uh, similarly so you you complete this so with these two things and uh, any uh, fault in the address line uh, address decoder will get uh, detected okay okay uh, like we saw uh, even in the combinational circuits there could be uh, several uh, defects 
okay now if you uh, try to uh, uh, identify all those defects and do uh, testing then uh, uh, it, it is going to be very very uh, difficult so uh, this study was done and they said uh, most of those uh, defects um, which happen uh, can be actually be uh, mapped to uh, certain uh, standard faults okay like in uh, uh, cell getting stuck or the driver getting uh, stuck uh, read line uh, getting uh, stuck or uh, right chip select line getting stuck all those things uh, will uh, can be uh, mapped as an uh, SAF fault, okay, stuck at fault, uh, uh, right. Uh, similarly, all these uh, uh, fabrication issues uh, from here to here, okay, uh, they can be, uh, uh, they can be either be an uh, CF or an AF or a TF or so. So these are the uh, uh, like the, these uh, state coupling fault, right, or coupling faults. So uh, only we need to uh, look at uh, uh, those uh, these uh, particular uh, faults, okay, stuck at faults, coupling uh, faults. Right, transition faults and neighboring uh, faults, uh, and uh, uh, this is an uh, address decoder faults, address faults. So, all those, uh, if you look at uh, these faults, so this is uh, good enough uh, to check uh, various kinds of uh, fabrication and uh, problems. Okay, so uh, we will focus on uh, trying to uh, analyze these faults. Uh, so, this is one uh, shown as one uh, example out here. Uh, where uh, they uh, suppose these two lines there is an uh, short circuit. Okay, uh, so what happens? Now, if there is a uh, short circuit, normally, okay, uh, this cell, uh, you will be able to read write only when this particular select select. Uh, no, this is the read uh, write uh, select line, right? So, only when uh, this is selected, this data will be uh, written from here to here, right? But uh, suppose there is an uh, short here, then uh, uh, whenever this uh, data is placed in this uh, bit line. Okay, so now uh, here also, like like we saw uh, in the memory uh, hierarchy, uh, right? So this uh, bit line, uh, few cells will be uh, connected to this uh, bit line, uh, and 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 in this and that particular in that within that particular block, one of the cells will be uh, selected. Uh, now, if there is a, a short here, even if this particular cell is not selected, there is a short circuit here. The adjacent cell is uh, selected. Uh, but because of this short, that data of the adjacent cell, whatever we want to write, that gets in a return into this cell. Okay, so this uh, short circuit uh, um, can be uh, modeled as an uh, right as an uh, 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 what uh, 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 as an uh, CF fault, right? State coupling fault. So, whatever is the data in the uh, uh, neighboring fault, neighboring cell is being uh, uh, coupled out here because of this. So, so this is just an uh, example uh, uh, of, of this particular table where uh, uh, this this is getting uh, 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 like, like if you say short circuit between the data lines, so this particular fault might be written here. So, what, what, what that is going to result in, in what kind of fault, okay, so this is just an uh, example. So, there are uh, other examples also given in the textbook, which says all these uh, defects will uh, fi finally all these uh, defects will get mapped to uh, one of these faults. Okay. So, that is this. So, uh, and there could be uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, faults also, right. Uh, so, these are known as unlinked fault, uh, where uh, 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 this uh, cell J is linked to I and uh, uh, cell K uh, L is linked to K. Uh, or uh, this could also be uh, happened, right? J and uh, L both are uh, linked to K, right? So uh, in this uh, uh, thing, then uh, no, it is possible that okay, if you do an, a normal uh, no, march operation, then uh, this may not uh, get uh, detected, right? So uh, you you could want to have a uh, slightly uh, different uh, 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 a march for that. Now if you see here, uh, uh, for for these kind of uh, linked faults. Okay, uh, so this is uh, na, uh, one of the uh, March waveforms. So you don't have to remember all this in uh, a March waveform center. Okay, just uh, remember the uh, concepts. Okay, so uh, I think I discussed uh, the March waveforms, not it. Okay, so there are uh, different in uh, a uh, March waveforms. Okay, so these are the different uh, uh, different guys have uh, na, uh, 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 na suggested. Okay, recommended different in uh, a uh, March. So this is one match. Uh, in, in which you know, all the stuck at fault will be detected and, and uh, some AF faults will be detected. Then there is mats and a plus plus where you know, all these faults will be detected. So a March, a C minus fault. Okay, So the, these are uh, names uh, coming from different authors. Uh, 
uh, so uh, so these are all you know, all the faults can be detected now uh, if you see here uh, uh, <coughs> And so the uh, number of uh, runs which are uh, uh, required, so obviously uh, for uh, each cell uh, uh, one run will be required, uh, within that uh, how many uh, uh, different uh, march elements are there, right? like I said uh, here there is an uh, M0, M1, M2, M3, 4 are there, right? so similarly uh, in the first case we saw there were only 3, so, so that could uh, div, uh, uh, vary from here now uh, you have uh, uh, 6 different operations here, uh, 10 different operations here, 15 uh, 18 for each cell okay so so that is the uh, so different so now uh, uh, what are these again uh, it is it is uh, given here right so now if you see here march by uh, this operation followed by this operation followed by this operation so these uh, notations you understand right you don't have to remember any of these things okay and just on uh, the uh, philosophy okay so there are uh, you just need to understand that there are uh, uh, several uh, marches available uh, each of that uh, obviously has got its own uh, advantages and disadvantages okay uh, what are the defects uh, that can be identified uh, and obviously if you are uh, going for a uh, bigger march then a more number of uh, uh, faults will be uh, will be so so here if you see here uh, 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 and so you are having a 17 so all these faults plus all the link uh, faults can be uh, identified right uh, whereas uh, here this is a minimum but uh, only stuck at faults uh, you have something in between and uh, where all these faults are there or here you know, linked faults uh, cannot be detected but everything else can be detected you require uh, 10 then if you use uh, uh, this particular algorithm uh, you know, it requires 15 uh, but uh, uh, these cannot be detected so so these are the kind of various kinds of uh, uh, runs uh, which are available people have uh, proposed that and and that is also uh, available so the uh, test engineer has to uh, select the uh, appropriate uh, uh, test run uh, he might want to run uh, one or more of them uh, to uh, probably cover you know, all of the faults okay. so this is known as uh, this is a testing of the uh, RAM okay uh, so ROM is a uh, different uh, because uh, here we are uh, talking about uh, RAM because we are able to uh, read the operation and also uh, write the, uh, write into the cell also. Okay, so ROM is uh, testing is uh, slightly simpler because you just have to uh, read the operation. Okay, uh, so uh, here uh, now now this is uh, one example of this MAT plus uh, detection. Uh, suppose uh, uh, cell uh, there is a stuck at fault at uh, uh, cell two one. Uh, two one means in uh, the second row. Uh, first element uh, here if it is stuck at 0 so first I am going to uh, write a uh, 0 here uh, so for a good machine and uh, everything will be 0 in the uh, second operation I am going to read 0 and write 1 right uh, so uh, uh, so once I uh, do that uh, stuck at fault stuck at 0 fault right so uh, after writing one good machine after so uh, this should be zero right for a good machine uh, this is an uh, m0 operation right this is uh, m1 uh, operation so if i uh, uh, write after m1 uh, it is stuck at uh, zero fault so this should not be one okay so there could sir be. actually so good, good machine is good machine is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Good, uh, yeah fault -free? For a good machine means fault free okay so it will be one okay. here right so it will be uh, one here so uh, here in this case uh, 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 we are writing uh, uh, zero here in a, in a uh, uh, bad machine after m0 operation bad machine again uh, what, uh, this is, is talking about stuck at one like fault. Stuck at, stuck one. at one fault, yeah. Yeah, it could be stuck at one. This is an uh, stuck at one fault actually. Okay, so there is an uh, error here. So it is an uh, stuck at one fault. So this is how uh, uh, you uh, detect. Okay, so uh, stuck at one fault. Uh, and and this is a uh, uh, multiple uh, 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 decoder uh, fault. That is, uh, uh, suppose you I have an uh, cell in the cell uh, two when. Uh, two cell uh, to uh, cell two one is unaddressable, but whenever I am going to write in two one, okay, uh, instead of this uh, data being written into two one, uh, data gets written into three one. 
Okay. So, uh, for a, a good machine, uh, uh, this is the uh, simple run, but for a uh, bad machine, uh, I write uh, first, uh, I, 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 uh, first I am going to write 0, so I write uh, everything 0, uh, this is not uh, accessible to me, so uh, I do not know, something can, uh, 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 whatever is there, the previous data, uh, that will uh, remain there. Uh, now, uh, after that, uh, I am going to uh, uh, read this and write 1 ok so i'll read 0 write 1 ok uh, read uh, 0 uh, na, and then uh, 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 write 1 na, ok read 0 uh, write 1 uh, here in this case ok uh, the moment i uh, write a 1 here ok uh, instead of na, 1 being written here uh, this will na, uh, get uh, written as 1 here because now what has happened there is a decoder fault okay a decoder fault means when i am writing uh, uh, data into 2 1 it is uh, going into 3 1 okay uh, after this what will happen uh, okay it will uh, read 0 and then it will turn into 1 read 0 uh, turn it, it into 1 and then it will try to read 0 here but i will find there is a 1 here so i will uh, say okay this cell uh, has got an uh, issue because uh, something else has uh, changed the data here okay uh, that could have been from here could have been from here could have been from here uh, doesn't matter okay i will say okay this particular uh, cell is faulty uh, because this data has got corrupted because of some operation from the previous uh, right operations okay so i'll uh, come to know okay this so i have to discard this particular uh, uh, cell okay now uh, please understand uh, generally uh, uh, this entire word will be you know, discarded mostly okay we'll see when we see the fault uh, tolerant uh, i am not sure if, if only one cell can be done so i'll cover that when i uh, i don't uh, really clearly remember the fault tolerant design of memory but uh, i will revisit that and i will cover that and uh, how to replace this one particular cell or is the entire word is going to be replaced okay now we'll uh, see that later on okay so this is how you know, it will get you know, uh, detected okay uh, is this uh, okay till here so you uh, see here by these runs although they look very uh, simple uh, they can catch all these kind of uh, faults okay even the decoder um, uh, initially uh, in the previous example we saw a uh, stuck at one fault being detected uh, here we saw how the uh, na, uh, stuck at na, uh, uh, the uh, address decoder uh, fault gets detected right so that is there uh, now uh, when we uh, talk about sir, that, one question. yeah tell me yes sir. sir when we are talking about address decoder fault so in this case we are just focusing on the right uh, not getting detected will it not be the case for read as well in address decoder uh, we will be then, able to yeah uh, when we uh, do the uh, testing uh, uh, now we uh, do certain uh, assumptions uh, and one of the assumptions is uh, whatever uh, data uh, we are writing is available in the send when uh, when we do the uh, read operation okay then uh, that uh, uh, the correct data is being read okay uh, you rightly brought out but that is one of the assumptions okay because uh, if we uh, try to uh, say a uh, key okay uh, that our read operation is also could be faulty then it makes the testing algorithm uh, very very uh, 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 complex so uh, ultimately okay what we write we should be able to read okay so whether this fault is here or uh, somewhere in between uh, this point and the read operation uh, ultimately we are not able to read the operation so we apply that logic that and uh, if if you are not able to read then uh, uh, we but if you are not able to read many many things then we can say okay there is a pro uh, no, uh, problem with the sense amplifier but here in that e uh, there is two word where we faulty sir. That uh, here, yeah. Here. Ah, One is yes, uh, yes. Because when we are uh, reading this also, right? So, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, so there could be an uh, fault uh, uh, with uh, no, with here. So that 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 uh, no, ATP has to uh, find out. Okay, what kind of it, whether it is address detection issue or uh, issue with the cell. Okay. Okay. So that. Now, uh, when we say uh, neighborhood uh, pattern uh, uh, sensitivity uh, 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 test, right? Now, uh, suppose uh, I have uh, 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 one cell here. I have some uh, uh, k cells uh, uh, which are uh, there. 
in the uh, neighborhood okay so uh, i want to check whether uh, this all these k cells are going to affect this particular uh, cell or not so what do i do so uh, first uh, uh, this particular cell uh, no i need i can have a zero or a one here right so uh, i i write it uh, two here so number of uh, patterns okay now uh, uh, there could be uh, then i will do a transition in this particular cell okay in one uh, cell right so uh, one cell is uh, taken in the in, into the uh, na, uh, uh, transition okay so this is a uh, uh, one cell which is taken into transition so uh, what are the remaining cells k minus 2 so uh, how many different states are possible for this uh, k minus 2 uh, 2 to the power of k minus 2 transitions are uh, possible uh, 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 states are possible for uh, all these things right uh, and then uh, 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 for for this particular cell okay uh, two transitions uh, you have to uh, cater right uh, plus going transition so i have uh, another uh, two now uh, you got to uh, uh, this is for one particular cell and this particular cell now you have to check for uh, all the other cells also right so you have to uh, so to if there are total k uh, 2 into 2 into 2 to the power of k minus 1 you have to do k minus 1 times so that uh, uh, this transition these these cells also you do the transition test so you do that also so the total uh, number of uh, uh, tests uh, just to uh, detect if there is a neighboring uh, uh, fault in one particular cell uh, comes out to be uh, this much okay now if k cells are uh, grouped uh, together Right, the the total number of uh, uh, test runs uh, would come out to be uh, k into two to the power of k. So this is actually a very very uh, uh, large uh, figure. Okay, so it will take a lot of time, depending on uh, uh, what kind of. So if you take a neighborhood, we saw two neighborhood pattern, right? And uh, one was uh, uh, just these four. Uh, so then you know, it is okay. Uh, if you take an uh, eight, then it will be. Uh, uh, if you take the corner ones also, you will get another four. That is also okay. But if you are uh, trying to uh, see an uh, uh, K as a large number, then uh, this could we could run into a problem where it takes a large number of uh, time. Okay. So now now this is an example uh, where uh, I have an uh, uh, five cells, right? So this this pattern which we saw. Right. So now I have uh, taken uh, um, this as a, a base cell. Okay. Uh, first, uh, 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 I I take an uh, zero there here, right? Uh, and 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 here in this cell I am making a transition. So there are uh, uh, three uh, more cells. So for this uh, three more cells, there are uh, eight different uh, possible combinations from here to here, right? So I do a positive transition. Then for again for the next uh, for the same eight combinations I do an uh, no, negative transition right then I change this uh, data to uh, one again uh, I repeat all this in uh, a sixteen out here again right now again uh, here uh, I have done the transition for uh, cell number uh, zero uh, no this is the base cell which is known as B uh, zero one. Uh, two and three. Now I'll uh, I'll I'll do these things things again for the na, uh, next cell. Here it is. Na, uh, now I started with zero. Then I do with one. Then uh, I do with three. Uh, I do with na, uh, four. So uh, you will see these many na, uh, test uh, runs will be uh, required. Okay. So uh, is this okay? Uh, now what is the logic? So you you actually have, we have to do all these things to ensure that the uh, memory is uh, na, functioning properly. Uh, so uh, now uh, when we are uh, moving from uh, here to here here to here here to here right these are all uh, right operations right so if you see here uh, uh, here if you go uh, normal uh, uh, binomial uh, 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 this thing uh, uh, sorry uh, normal uh, binary if you increase okay uh, so for when you are uh, moving uh, from here to here or from here to here there are uh, two to right operations because this is a uh, binary so uh, we could uh, uh, if you if you have to uh, 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 pre, uh, uh, minimize the number of uh, right operations okay uh, we could go for an a uh, gray code okay uh, that is known as hamilton uh, sequence okay uh, this is about this particular pattern only where uh, uh, these cells when you uh, select so uh, uh, right you you give a up transition here then you change the data in 1, 3, uh, 4, 
right so you selected uh, address 1 uh, right here now now suppose you you, you select uh, this particular cell right uh, uh, right uh, 3 uh, yeah, yeah, select number uh, na, uh, is this in uh, already in a uh, gray form uh, 0 1 1 0 no right so it, it is not in uh, gray right from uh, uh, when i am moving from uh, here to here if you see here right from uh, this pattern to this pattern i select uh, na, cell 3 and write a 1 then i select select uh, 4 and write a 0 so i i am doing two two uh, inversions uh, here right so that will uh, increase my uh, uh, testing time so uh, every time in the in, when i am uh, moving uh, similarly from uh, here to here now both the cells and uh, i have to select i have to select 3 uh, write 0 select 4 write 0 so so this will uh, take larger time so instead of that i have to select all this 8 okay so instead of a binary if i use a, a gray code it will be uh, easy right so uh, this is uh, for the uh, static okay uh, but uh, if you have to uh, find out the uh, 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 an uh, uh, what is uh, an psv if you if you uh, go back out here right an active an uh, 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 pair then uh, it is known as dynamic right so in that particular case uh, you have to make an uh, both the uh, transitions and see so uh, what is done is uh, all the uh, 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 numbers are uh, written out here okay uh, where uh, uh, each is uh, differing by one bit only but uh, it, it covers uh, uh, both in, in in both directions okay so uh, once you go from here to here here to here so all these are uh, covered in uh, two types so in that so this is a another uh, way of uh, uh, covering all the uh, test nodes okay so this sequence is uh, followed here so these are the two different uh, sequences so they will uh, actually this will uh, minimize the number of write operations that's all, right uh, and then uh, there uh, now uh, you see uh, this is listen uh, for an here here you know, it, it is a uh, very large uh, figure so if you have to uh, reduce that uh, what uh, we can uh, do is now uh, while we are uh, uh, testing uh, this particular cell okay uh, because it is it is similar thing can happen uh, here 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 right so in the memory so the same operation uh, you know, will be uh, done uh, out here also here uh, uh, this zero so the, the it has been uh, in the tiling method it has been uh, proposed that when uh, you are uh, selecting uh, this zero uh, parallelly okay uh, uh, these also uh, like when you are uh, selecting for uh, uh, zero and uh, and and putting some data in uh, one okay uh, same thing you put the same data out here also you put the same data here also you put the same data on this cell and you put the same data here right and you put the same data here in two then you do the because you are not changing the data uh, available data line it okay only address line is being manipulated now right you are putting the same data here uh, you are putting the same data here you are putting the same data here you are putting the uh, same data here right only the address line has been changed okay but whereas the there is no uh, change which is happening in the data line so what you are you are trying to uh, optimize the number of changes you know, that is being uh, done on to the data lines okay so you you fix one data and you write the same data in all these cells you select cell number two write the same data in cell number two you again you select uh, some data and you write in all uh, cell number threes out here okay and then in cell number four uh, you do the transition okay a 0 to 1 transition and 1 to a 0 transition and then you do the same transition here same transition here same transition here right then you change the in the base cell uh, you change from 0 to 1 here also in the base cell you change data in the base cell you change data base cell you change data base cell you change the data okay and and if you want uh, again since you have changed from 0 to 1 this uh, uh, data remains same in all the cell again you make this positive negative transition and then subsequently you you go for the next pattern okay and now uh, once you change the pattern in the uh, data lines then uh, you use the you know uh, you just change the memory address and 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 keep you know, uh, 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 writing the same data in uh, many memory cells okay so it is like 
uh, instead of an uh, if you uh, keep considering one each cell uh, again uh, you go to the next cell again you keep uh, manipulating the data so this saves uh, actually right so you are doing uh, several things it is not it's not doing parallelly actually uh, sequentially only it's doing now only thing is you are uh, minimizing the uh, data uh, uh, the uh, 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 data change uh, on the data bus okay because one data which is applicable to three uh, here so so this arrangement and uh, they have studied and they, they have recommended this kind of arrangement okay so so that is so that actually uh, saves uh, uh, if the n uh, uh, k <coughs> is the uh, reduces the uh, pattern n is the total uh, number of cells which are available so if, if k like like in this case uh, uh, one two three four now five are taken uh, together then you know, it, it gets uh, divided by uh, five okay so the total number of uh, pattern uh, requirement okay so that is what it says so uh, there could be a uh, two group uh, method also uh, uh, here uh, in in fact uh, uh, here uh, uh, it is non overlapping that means uh, uh, this cell is not taken into consideration so uh, here in the two pattern uh, two group method okay there is an uh, overlapping that means uh, uh, this is an uh, uh, a cell uh, out here okay uh, in in the in the next uh, label uh, a could be uh, here also so uh, this is an a uh, slight and uh, a variation of uh, this particular so the say uh, so it has got <coughs> uh, uh, there is no uh, overlap method this is known as the uh, two group method also so this also uh, can be uh, used so these are uh, this actually uh, these two uh, technana uh, methods uh, will uh, reduce the total number of uh, uh, test uh, vectors required okay testing time will be uh, reduced because uh, uh, one while it is the way we look at these cells okay so so uh, here uh, all this you know, it is just that these are overlapping over each other here there is a gap considered uh, here there is no gap considered okay so parallelly you know, data uh, data uh, data uh, actually the uh, data the change in the data lines required is uh, a minimum okay uh, for these things okay so uh, because the same data will be written into multiple uh, cells so uh, that is the thing like when we do the march waveforms if you have seen right now so the, these are uh, multiple uh, 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 here if you see here li like the data is a uh, right one right one same data is being uh, written multiple cells right so the same thing happens uh, uh, here also so uh, the same data is being uh, returned to all these cells only thing is these addresses will be uh, correspondingly selected for different patterns okay uh, so now uh, this testing becomes a uh, slightly uh, more uh, complex okay all this uh, march runs now because uh, actually in uh, drams okay uh, physical uh, drams okay uh, the uh, addresses are uh, physically the address might be 000 uh, 01 like like suppose this is an uh, increasing order of the memory during fabrication these cells may not be placed you know, close to each other actually right so this 00 might be here uh, physically on the chip and and uh, 0 01 could be uh, here and 0 02 could be here okay it it can happen that all the odd ones are here because the uh, so so uh, all the odd uh, this is the odd bank this is the even bank okay that kind of thing also during fabrication it can happen uh, why it happens there are uh, several uh, reasons to it okay there could be a geometric optimization you know, for, and there could be address decoder you know, optimization uh, uh, for uh, like, like like right the uh, m the least significant bit uh, can uh, make an odd bank and even bank and uh, things like that can happen uh, no? so there are uh, several uh, other uh, reasons also iop in uh, con uh, uh, compatibility with using an you know, address and data line because you have to use the address and data line are multiplexed right i said so so there are other considerations also uh, to uh, place these cells okay not necessarily that you know, when we move from one address to other they will be uh, together so so you you may uh, have said there could not be any you know, there could be a coupling effect between these two cells but they may not be the two you know, adjacent uh, uh, mem memory address so that becomes slightly uh, complex so the test uh, engineer needs to know uh, what kind of you know, uh, you know, chip layout has been done 
Okay. So, uh, if somebody is uh, interested, you could uh, go through this paper uh, in which uh, they have explained uh, uh, why, uh, how this uh, memory addressing is, uh, uh, placement is done. Okay. So, there are uh, several uh, issues and, 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 and hence, uh, uh, right, there are, uh, so, so sometimes they are deliberate also scrambled okay for security reasons okay uh, so that somebody doesn't uh, uh, recover the data uh, from the ram if, if, if there is uh, some uh, uh, hacking which is happening onto the ram they can't uh, pick the data because uh, uh, see, uh, the two uh, addresses are not uh, physically close to each other so so there are several reasons okay so one one could go through this paper if you want to understand more uh, what is it about okay so that makes uh, uh, testing slightly uh, more complex than uh, uh, what but then and uh, but the test engineer uh, needs to know uh, how it is done okay so accordingly he will modify the uh, test pattern okay uh, the, the thing is uh, uh, the, uh, the focus should be on uh, actually uh, cells we, uh, as we move here okay uh, we have it, it is better to move from one adjacent cell to other okay not purely based on the address Okay, so uh, if the uh, if this is not matching as per the binary uh, no, incremental of address, then the way it has been uh, done and that needs to be known. And accordingly, my uh, march run uh, right this this uh, address thing when I am uh, moving forward. Uh, this uh, this so this needs to be uh, calibrated as per the uh, not purely based on binary but based on the uh, fabrication details okay so all these uh, address data you know, uh, sweeping is is not pure binary so okay right uh, so so this says okay uh, there are uh, uh, some other you know, uh, uh, defects right uh, and there are some, uh, uh, these are for the uh, various uh, uh, faults and, and you could uh, just uh, go through your textbook. Don't have to remember uh, any of these things. Just remember that there are uh, uh, several uh, 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 guys have uh, recommended uh, various uh, tests, okay, uh, which will, uh, 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 each will uh, cover uh, some or uh, other kind of uh, uh, defects. Uh, some will uh, uh, leave some, so others will leave. No, uh, others okay so uh, there is no one test uh, uh, which will uh, cover all kind of faults so you might want to uh, deploy uh, one or uh, more uh, kind of uh, march runs if you want to do a full exhaustive uh, checks so for this uh, uh, the, these this kind of uh, test uh, uh, each of these guys when they uh, have uh, uh, tested and uh, published uh, these things so various uh, uh, operations which are required for each of their uh, logic uh, has been uh, given right so you might want to uh, uh, employ uh, one or more of that okay to cover all the you know, layout related uh, faults so uh, no one uh, particular logic will cover uh, everything okay so they have said so now it's on uh, depending on the uh, yield okay uh, and depending on the uh, experience right from the fab lab okay say if somebody says okay this kind of fault is and are not generally uh, encountered then uh, that we saw right the, the number of uh, uh, we saw uh, that defect level right uh, in the in the defect level uh, we saw uh, if the yield is uh, low in the very first class we discussed that then your fault coverage should be very very high uh, if the yield is low then you might have to uh, no, uh, do an uh, high uh, fault coverage. So, this depends on the uh, yield information which is given from the uh, fab lab. If the fab lab says, ki, okay, uh, no, there is only just a uh, uh, one in million uh, case of this particular fault uh, happening, then you could employ, uh, deploy uh, this particular uh, uh, march. Okay, so it, it, it requires just a uh, uh, 12 into n, right? And uh, also, uh, why this uh, plus delays are uh, written here? Because uh, you might want to do the uh, no, uh, uh, after writing a data, you want to do the uh, retention check also, right? So, so that is what here uh, delays in between, right? That is, you have uh, uh, written a uh, data, okay, uh, write zero, uh, after a delay, read zero, okay? So, you want to see uh, how long uh, no, uh, is this data no, being, uh, now, now suppose uh, this uh, RAM is supposed to hold the data for 5 milliseconds. So, I will write a data, wait for 5 milliseconds and then read the data, okay. 
so uh, that is what uh, these this particular uh, 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 these three runs okay uh, which we discussed uh, right now uh, uh, right in the earlier ones uh, we didn't uh, take into consideration the uh, uh, here uh, in these runs there was no uh, delay element involved so uh, these are the new uh, set of uh, logics which have been proposed here now here the uh, delay is also there okay so these delays will check whether you know, the cell is able to retain the data for the specified period or not okay so that is the additional thing which gets you know, uh, checked out here right and and you know, uh, towards the end uh, we have you know, cache memory uh, checking also now cache memory is actually uh, you have an uh, sram and you have an uh, dram also right it, it is an, a mix of both these two things uh, so from the sram actually uh, you know, right uh, the uh, data is uh, uh, <coughs> uh, communicated uh, with the uh, with the cpu right uh, but then you know, sram uh, takes you know, a space it, it is although it is very fast uh, it, it does uh, take space and consume you know, more power so uh, you have a uh, mix of you know, uh, sram and dram this is again uh, comes as an, a single uh, chip uh, placed within the cpu or uh, on the same uh, chip you will have an, a cpu and a cache okay uh, some cpus within the cpu also you know, uh, within the same you know, microprocessor also this get placed there also so it depends on uh, design to design uh, so again the testing is you, know, you do dram testing you have to do separate okay sram uh, data transfer test uh, between you know, uh, these okay uh, high speed operation uh, test concurrent operation that uh, so all these these are the different kinds of uh, tests which do cache uh, um, uh, 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 miss test is uh, suppose uh, some data is to be uh, taken uh, from the cache memory and if uh, that is not available uh, here okay that becomes an uh, an a miss test okay that means uh, you have to refer back to your uh, main uh, memory so so uh, that is that is not actually an, an uh, 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 fabrication fault you could say but that comes under a uh, cache uh, miss test okay uh, uh, <clears throat> that is uh, more to do with the uh, algorithm of uh, fetching data and placing in the cache okay so these kinds of uh, tests are done in the for the uh, cache memory right and and for uh, rom uh, rom uh, is uh, already you know, some data will be uh, returned uh, during fab uh, soon after the fabrication some data will be returned right and and then uh, you just you know, read that data okay so it, it is uh, you just you know, read the data and and check whether it is uh, okay or not okay now uh, so obviously if you are trying to read every data uh, uh, then it will be uh, time consuming so uh, we use an, a linear uh, shift register right uh, suppose uh, this is an uh, pat the, the first cell has got this data you take uh, this data uh, and and uh, you have some uh, linear uh, shift register where uh, this data uh, you are doing an uh, uh, xor uh, with this uh, right with this bit uh, and with this bit and with this uh, 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 and then you have the next data coming in uh, again uh, you do an XOR so you, you read the entire uh, you run the entire uh, read the entire uh, data uh, and and uh, uh, and finally you just have to read one particular register okay uh, in which uh, uh, all this data uh, 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 gets out like the first data uh, is getting an uh, uh, XOR with, so if I take a just a very, very simple ex example, suppose there are uh, 1000 data and, and, and for uh, each of that, uh, the, the, the subsequent data will, uh, will do an XOR operation. And so finally, when uh, this is done, uh, if, the, uh, tot if the total number of an, uh, 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 first uh, number one bit is an uh, even, right i will get a 1 or if it is a 0 since i am doing xor 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 operations i i will either get a 0 or 1 if, if one of the data is you know, corrupted then the final data will uh, you know, after the xor also will be corrupt so you uh, will talk about this during the built in test in the, <coughs> the next to next class they, where I'll uh, talk in you know, a uh, detailed about a linear shift register, how it's working. But uh, right now, uh, for uh, uh, it is uh, just uh, no, I'll give a brief idea. In the ROM testing, you're just uh, doing the read operations. You are not uh, verifying uh, whether every data is correct. Okay, so you are reading this in you know, a first data, uh, doing some operation, 
and, and storing the result of that operation uh, in a register. You uh, take the second data again uh, with the previous data you do some operation. It could be a simple XOR operation also and, and you amend the data in the register. So, you read all the uh, data which is available the uh, in the RAM, it could be 1000, 10,000, whatever. And finally, you just have uh, one particular data. Now, if this data is uh, corrupted, okay, uh, that means uh, uh, somewhere something has gone wrong. Okay, So, uh, now you might uh, want to, uh, if there are uh, 1000 uh, data available, so you might want to uh, break it into, say, say uh, 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 every after every uh, 50 uh, uh, data, uh, you check. Again, after every 50 data, you check right so you can do that also so that you come to know okay there is a problem in this particular uh, segment okay uh, and then if, if there is a problem in that particular segment then you might want to again uh, do an a uh, further fine uh, run and that so that's how the test algorithm is done uh, again in the ram also right and if, if, if there is a uh, data which is corrupt in in one particular uh, cell the entire ram will not be discard, discarded but there will be you know, some mechanism uh, to bypass that particular cell and uh, have a uh, fault tolerant uh, design. Okay, so that we will discuss subsequently. Uh, so, uh, finally, uh, we also do some parametric testing. Okay, uh, so like for a DC parametric test, uh, we uh, suppose I write a 0 into the cell and then I keep increasing the uh, voltage. Okay, and, and finally, for a particular uh, voltage, there is a possibility that 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 you know, data in the uh, cell will change from zero to one. Okay, that I will uh, note it as uh, V high, and then I will uh, uh, decrease. The, I'll start decreasing the uh, voltage. Okay, and and then I will uh, come to an uh, voltage where uh, the that one again gets flipped to zero. So that will be uh, known as V low. So so my power supply voltage uh, needs to uh, uh, remain uh, within this uh, permission uh, permissible limit. Say for 180 nanotechnology, say I put a uh, zero voltage. Okay, first I have written a zero in this cell. Okay, for the 1.8 is my nominal voltage. So I keep increasing the voltage. I'll keep going. So the moment say I reach 2.2 volts. Okay, this information in this cell might get changed to one. Okay, so I note down. Okay, so I cannot go beyond 2.2. Now, from 2.2, I'll keep decreasing the voltage. So, I'll come to 1.8. This is this continues to remain 1 now. I keep decreasing, decreasing. Say, I'll come to 1.5 volt. The moment I come to 1.5 volt, you know, this again uh, you know, sweeps to 0. So, I can say, okay, now my these are the two you know, values. So, I, I might want to specify, okay, this cell will work from 1.6 volt to say 2.1 volt. If I go to 2.2 and 1.5 volt, then the data might get corrupted. Okay, so I will uh, impose an, a restriction or the other, uh, other way around is if already some limits has been uh, set, then I will see to it that within those limits, uh, the data is not uh, 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 making a change. Okay, so I can uh, verify that. That is known as the voltage uh, bump test. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, there could be a leakage test. Now, uh, leakage test also you will have. There could be you know, uh, right when when it is uh, when the <coughs> different conditions right and, uh, uh, when the uh, output is zero or when the output is one. Uh, all those conditions uh, uh, needs to be uh, uh, taken into consideration. Okay. So, so apply a one to a chip select line. Okay. Uh, uh, so to deselect the uh, chip. Okay, that, that chip, chip is not selected, but then an uh, 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 output enable line is uh, given okay, and, and uh, low to the right enable. So, uh, when, when you say uh, low, most of these signals are an uh, active low. Okay? So, low means the right is enabled actually. Okay? Uh, when I, high means that chip is deselected. Okay? So, most of these signals in, uh, in the memory chip, they uh, work in uh, active low. Okay? So, uh, then you uh, uh, place an, a, a logic uh, high uh, onto the na, data outline and, and measure the leakage current because uh, it is not making a transition. So, static leakage should be 0. Similarly, you force a low voltage on the data outline and then measure the uh, output leakage. Okay? Then you uh, select the chip after that. Okay? Uh, now, uh, chip select is a low signal. Okay? Uh, because this is active low. So now, you make an, a low, again uh, you measure, uh, no, uh, you put a high and you put a low uh, and then measure the leakage current. So, then uh, as per the specifications, you have to uh, see. Okay? So, uh, what what is the uh, leakage currents which are uh, specified. 
okay so so this is just one example given okay this is not an a value don't take this uh, value as sacrosanct okay uh, depending on the technology they will specify uh, what are the values and uh, a maximum leakage currents okay so this uh, 10 micro uh, could be for the uh, entire uh, chip not one for particular uh, cell okay uh, so for the entire uh, uh, ramp together because uh, you are going to uh, select the chip and and put a right uh, data and then see if there is some leakage current. So, this is not, uh, if, if you are talking in terms of one single chip in micro amperes, then uh, uh, obviously uh, this is bad. So, this 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 could be uh, for the entire uh, chip, okay, this, the order in few micro. Uh, similarly, uh, you can uh, do an uh, address setup time uh, sensitivity, okay. Uh, that means, uh, 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 we write uh, 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 one in the memory uh, cell, then uh, flip the address and write an uh, zero okay uh, uh, write a zero in the new address cell uh, flick back uh, again uh, to read the original uh, cell okay so what you are uh, trying to uh, do is okay uh, how much time is it uh, uh, taking right now uh, you are uh, reading uh, this particular uh, uh, in, in the first cell uh, uh, you have written a one right in the second cell uh, you are uh, written a zero right so there is one already available here now i am uh, flipping the address okay now the out since i am flipping the address the output also since i was reading this now i will i will have to read this so this data has to get you know, settled here right now that will give me when you know, i will measure from this will go from 0 to 1 so i will measure the time taken okay so that time uh, gives me uh, an uh, idea about how much time is required okay for address setup because i am changing the address right now, if, if, if same data is written in these two cells, I cannot estimate the time taken, right? Since different data is written in two different cells and I am as far, uh, no, moving from one address to other, uh, the, here I can observe the time taken for the data change to 0 to 1. That time uh, actually uh, will be defined by uh, how much time the decoder is taking uh, for uh, sw swapping this from here to here and also there will be some uh, delay in the uh, no, uh, read uh, circuit, read the sense amplifier and all. But uh, overall, uh, that will be known as an address setup time sensitivity. That means once you place a new address, that much time it would require for the new data to get reflected. Okay, Like you have setup time for the flip-flop, same thing it is known as address setup time sensitivity. Right? Uh, you could define it as the time when a new address is placed and uh, from that time, till such time where that uh, data of the new address gets reflected uh, on our data lines okay from where we are uh, reading so so uh, this is uh, one no, uh, test which you could do uh, other time is known as the uh, access uh, time okay uh, uh, access time is actually uh, how the uh, how much time it's taken uh, to uh, read between uh, two uh, 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 there is no uh, right operations uh, involved here okay so uh, between two cells now if you have to uh, uh, read the data okay one uh, set is uh, set at zeros and other is set at uh, half is uh, in, into one and we just do the uh, read the entire memory and compare it with the uh, 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 expected values okay so this is the read access time on how much time it uh, takes to the uh, read so uh, this is uh, done again uh, run time again uh, uh, this is right uh, writing operations zeros and one in uh, alternating addresses at a specified uh, rapid uh, speed so if the speed of writing is uh, very uh, faster then the correct uh, when we are reading the data uh, right uh, when you are <coughs> uh, 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 first of all uh, zeros and ones are uh, put it in the alternate cells and we are uh, reading it at a very fast rate if you are doing that at a very uh, fast rate then you may not uh, read it uh, pro, uh, at the correct uh, uh, pattern right so that could happen so uh, so that will uh, impose a restriction on your uh, uh, the rate at which you are doing the read operation so those kind of uh, tests also uh, can be done uh, and then uh, for the uh, sense amplifier uh, recovery fault now it says the sense amplifier can become saturated uh, you know, if you are uh, reading a long string of data 
okay uh, suppose uh, it is uh, d could be either 0 or so if you are uh, uh, reading 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 uh, for a long time and then you are continue then you are uh, switching over to reading 1 so when i am uh, reading from uh, here to here uh, since there were 0 for a, a long time okay the nodes uh, of of uh, uh, the sense amplifier okay uh, so uh, <coughs> so uh, so they could you know, some of the nodes you know, could get discharged to zero or uh, they could uh, get discharged to full uh, one because the sense amplifiers you know, they uh, sense only a minute difference between the bit and bit bar lines right but a continuous you know, uh, read operations or uh, of a similar uh, data you know, uh, could uh, saturate those nodes actually the sense amplifier uh, it takes uh, from the DRAM, if you have seen the three DRAM cell and a one DRAM cell, a minor difference uh, in, in these two lines, okay, uh, it will uh, amplify that, okay. But uh, if that, uh, that, that, that minor uh, difference is of the order of uh, 100 millivolt or something only, right. But if you have a uh, continuous uh, uh, difference out here, so uh, these capacitances, uh, they could uh, get charged uh, to uh, more than that. So, there could be an you know, uh, uh, issue here, it could take more time to uh, flip the data. So, so, so that kind of you know, uh, test also we need to do to ascertain. Okay? So, uh, uh, this is for you know, uh, test for uh, right uh, recovery. So, uh, <coughs> this is you know, uh, when, when, uh, when it is you know, uh, right recovery faults occurs when right is followed by a read write operation in different uh, locations. right? Uh, after uh, uh, read after write and write after read okay so uh, while uh, reading uh, when once a data is written there is a po there could be a possibility where the uh, data can get uh, flipped okay uh, during the read operation suppose you have uh, written uh, one and then you are uh, uh, reading it and 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 while uh, reading it uh, this this capacitance if it gets in a, a discharge to an, a greater extent so there is a possibility that uh, this could uh, uh, flip okay so, so that can uh, happen. Uh, uh, similarly, uh, uh, so so those those kind of uh, uh, errors also uh, needs to be checked. So these are some of the uh, uh, tests uh, which are uh, done. Okay. So uh, with that, uh, uh, we'll uh, stop here. So uh, don't don't no need to memorize uh, uh, anything out here. Okay. Just the basic concept of uh, uh, testing. Okay. And we need to understand these are the various uh, things which are available uh, there in the. Uh, memory uh, testing okay uh, because uh, like you know, all these will be uh, these are all uh, general uh, guidelines but once a uh, chip is fabricated uh, what is the actual kind of test you know, which uh, uh, is required that depends on a lot of data uh, including uh, no, the uh, no, uh, how the uh, chips are fabricated uh, what is the address scheme uh, being used uh, what what are the uh, faults that are uh, likely uh, uh, will be there you know, based on their experience on their uh, statistics so there is no uh, one particular you know, uh, thing which is you know, the best suited for you know, all chips okay so depending on uh, what actually uh, uh, the chip which has fabricated and from the information from the fab lab now one of these uh, tests or uh, more than one uh, needs to be uh, selected okay so I will uh, stop it here and in, in the next class uh, uh, we will uh, uh, start with uh, uh, till now okay what we have uh, discussed is uh, uh, there is a uh, chip this has been uh, fabricated whether it is combinational circuit or sequential circuit uh, or a memory okay uh, uh, there there could be some faults and and for those faults and what are the uh, what we have modeled the faults we have uh, modeled the faults and uh, we learnt about how to uh, test the uh, faults. Okay. Now, in the next class, uh, we will uh, take uh, something for, uh, known as uh, design uh, uh, for testing. That means, uh, when we are uh, designing uh, these particular uh, circuits, uh, can we uh, incorporate uh, a few additional modules or things like that, so that uh, testing becomes easy. Correct. So, so because uh, testing we saw it is it is uh, pretty uh, time consuming and complex algorithms are to be run. So, uh, if we incorporate some additional module, okay. So that means we are going to increase the uh, hardware, right? Obviously, we are going to so there uh, increase the hardware, increase the power, uh, increase uh, like uh, area power delay everything, okay. But can it make uh, uh, testing uh, uh, easier? So uh, uh, yes. So, uh, is it worthwhile doing that?
right? And, uh, uh, yes, you will find that okay, uh, these things are uh, going to uh, help us in in you know, uh, doing an exhaustive uh, checking in a much uh, simpler manner. So, uh, incorporating a change in design to enable uh, testing uh, will be known as a uh, design for testing, uh, which we will take up in the uh, next class. Uh, okay, uh, thanks a lot. We'll uh, stop it here for now.